Well, hello, it's Monday, May the 11th, and uh, I thought this week, as we continue uh, to find uh, a way back, and we're talking about it and trying to uh, plan what that looks like, and as soon as we have that plan, we'll, we'll let you know. We need to be able to do it um, as quickly, but as safely uh, as possible. So this week I thought we would look at some of my favorite psalms, and uh, today I want to think about Psalm 8. And uh, it's a magnificent psalm. It has nine verses, and it begins, it's one of David's psalms. Uh, o Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And it's typical uh, of the psalms uh, when chaos uh, exists all around us, um, the psalm begins with God. Whatever else may be happening, uh, the focus here is not horizontal, but vertical. It, it begins by uh, looking uh, to the Lord and reminding himself uh, of things that are true about him. And in this opening uh, verse, um, his greatness uh, and glory and majesty, how majestic is your name uh, in all the earth. You have set your glory uh, above the heavens. And then in verse 3, uh, it talks about God as creator who has made everything. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. Uh, you've seen those breathtaking pictures from the Hubble telescope of uh, parts of the universe uh, that no human being has ever seen before. And uh, just the sheer vastness of this universe uh, that we live in. And God made it all. He spoke it into being. Uh, he said, let there be, um, and there was. And then in verses 6 to 8, he talks about uh, how God has put human beings and, and animals and creatures and birds in their place. You've given him that is humanity. You've given him dominion over the works of your hands. He's, he's put everything in its proper uh, place. He orders everything according to his providence. And like two bookends, uh, Psalm 8 begins and ends with the same phrase, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And the Lord here is in capital letters because it's the name Yahweh, or what some of us used to say, Jehovah. Uh, just as my name is Derek, God's name is Yahweh. Uh, it means I am. I am that I am. Or the Hebrew is equally uh, possible uh, to be translated as I will be who I will be. There's chaos all around. There's confusion all around. There are things uh, taking place that we don't understand, we can't comprehend, we can't put it all together. But one thing is absolutely sure and certain. God is. You know, that's the problem with all idols. They, they don't really exist except in our minds. They're figments of humanity's sinful imagination. But God Yahweh is. He exists in the timeless and spaceless uh, mode of his being. And today, right now, whatever else is true, this is. God is. And he has this. May the Lord bless you today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you, and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people 
and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.